In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can we detect empty or filled objects from an image using EMG UCV. So this is what actually we want to do in this tutorial. Given some objects which are filled and some are empty and this is what we want to achieve by removing the empty objects and keeping the filled objects. Let us see how can we achieve this in this tutorial. I have already created a Windows Forms application project and I configured it to use EMG UCV. You can check one of my previous videos how to configure it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to add a menu item. In the process, I have already done an object detection. So uh, field object detection, double click on it. And inside this code, the first thing that I want to do is to put a try catch block. So in case if I have any exception, I want to catch it here. So message box, ex dot message. The first thing that I need to make sure is that an image has been selected and displayed in my picture box. So I can write an if condition. If it is not there, then I will just return dot image. If this one equals equals no, then I should just return. Once I make sure that I have the image, now I can read it into a, a variable called it image. And I can do it like new bit name and from picture box dot image. And also I need to convert it into an EMG with structure. So I just need to use to EMG to image and it should be a BGR and then bite. Okay. Let me show you the image. So this is the image that I'm going to process. As you can see that these are the empty objects and I want to remove these empty objects and keep the filled objects with some color. So my objective should be to remove the background, which is white in color. So I will be definitely applying some inverse threshold. So uh, I'm going to convert it into a gray image and create a variable called gray. What I need to do is img.convert. First, I need to convert it into a gray image and the, the depth should be the same. Now I can apply a thresholding on it, threshold binary, but as I said that uh, I want to remove the white background. So I will be applying the threshold inverse. So if it is value is greater than some threshold, it will be set to zero. So here I want to select the threshold value to be let's say new gray since it is already a very bright image so i let's say 255 so 250 if the value is greater than 250 set it to zero otherwise set it to 255 so this is what the inverse uh, is doing we can show the image how it looks like so let me see picture box one image gray dot so uh, it will give us an idea or if we are going in the right direction or not so let us see the output first so let me select an image here is the image open it go to process object detection field object detection but as you can see that there are some sort of noise around it so maybe i can apply some gaussian first and then uh, apply the thresholding so let us try that so before after conversion what i can do is dot gaussian smoothing and we can do a kernel of size five open object and let me select this object and then now if i try it now it looks better so there's noise around the uh, objects have been removed. So now we can see that these are, now we need to distinguish between these empty and filled objects. So to do that, uh, I need to find out the contours. So to store the contours, first we need a vector of vector of point. And we call it contours, it's a new vector of vector of and also we the method requires a hierarchy information so i just create a made object i'm 
also not, although not using it, but I need to create it. Now I can use the uh, find contours method, cv invoke dot find contour. Contours, and this one is expecting expecting the input image. So gray is the image that we want to find the contours, and uh, these are the objects where it is going to write and h is the hierarchy information and we are going to use retrieval mode to be external contours i am interested in only the external contours and the chain approximation method that i'm going to use is simple approximation and that's it let me do a change here a little bit okay so chain approximation is simple and uh, next thing that i'm going to do once we find the contours it is time to find out the size of the contours or the area of the contours and to see which ones have the pixels filled pixels and which doesn't have the filled pixels so I, essentially i need to loop through the all the contours but before that i need to store the results in a mask so let me say mask is equal to gray dot copy blank i just created a dark image of the same size as the gray so now i'm going to loop through all the contours so for i is equal to one and i is less than contours dot size the first thing that i want to make sure that if there are some even one pixel then the contours find contours will give us a separate contour for that to make sure that the objects are visible i just want to find out the area of those objects and i am going to use cv invoke dot contour area and inside this i am going to pass each contour one by one and then i make sure that if my area let's say it is greater than 100 so at least it's area it's big enough object then i'm going to process so what i can do is i can find out the bounding box for each object so we call i call it v box is equal to cv invoke dot bounding rectangle so this one will give me the bounding rectangle for the contour that i will pass in so once I find the bounding rectangle, what I need to do is if find out how much of the pixels inside this bounding rectangle are filled and how much are not. So we will find a percentage of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the gray dot ROI is equal to this, to this bounding box. So I'm going to work only with this object in the whole image and why i did this is to get the number of objects or uh, the pixels which are white inside the bounding box so how can we do that i just say variable count is equal to gray dot get sum so we are going to find out the sum of all the pixels within this bounding box because we have set its roi to this area and i just want to get their intensity Remember that in EMG UCV, the binary images are just the gray images. Their maximum intensity is 255, and we usually set it to 255. So if you want to get the real sum, you should divide it by 255. So this one will give us the actual count. Or, in, uh, or you can also do something like this. If you want to find the pixels, white pixels within an object, uh, within the contour, you can also do something like this. Uh, let's say count is equal to gray dot count non zeros so this will uh, both method will give you the the same result so whichever you want to do i just prefer to use this intensity get some and the intensity now we know the number of white pixels inside the bounding box and we also know the area we can calculate the percentage of the pixels that are filled so we can do that by calling it a float uh, percentage is equal to uh, count let me cast it into a float otherwise when we do the integer division two integer divisions 
it uh, gives us an integer. So, and this time bounding box dot width multiply by bounding box dot height. So this one will give us the total area of the bounding box and this is the count of the number of pixels inside it and then it will give us some percentage. Now this one will can, we can apply a, a condition threshold on this one to find out how much are actually if it is filled or not. So let us say that if this percentage is less than let's say 0.5f then I'm going to remove that that it, it means that it is an empty circle or empty object. So what can I do? Gray dot copy, sorry, dot copy to, I'm going to copy it into the mask since we have created an empty mask. So essentially it will only, this, the, the conditions which are satisfied, those will be copied into our mask, uh, which means that these are the objects which we need to remove. And then we can remove this ROI from the gray image. So ROI is equal to rectangle dot empty. Don't forget this line because we are we need the whole image for process, but here we only need that region only. So what essentially we are getting is we are getting a mask for the objects which are actually uh, not filled. So this mask will contain only the objects which are not filled or which are not, which are empty actually. So I want to remove those empty objects from my original image. So what can we do is once we have that mask, we can do that set value. And what we want to do is we want to set their background to be white. So 255, 255, 255. It means that for three channels we set because their background is white. And the, the important thing is the mask. So all those objects, so we provide the second parameter as mask. This means that for this mask where the pixels are 255, that is white, we are setting the value of that pixel in the original image to 255. That is, I'm making it to the background as you remember the background is white in my case and uh, once we do that we are just going to show it uh, in the image or maybe i can add it into my i have created a method for add image so that i can show it in my tree view also and img and i just call it filtered image. okay and also show it in my picture box so let us run it and see the results. I'm going to open the same image object. So this is the image that I'm going to process and I just am going to say field object detection. Okay, I think I have made a mistake here. So I believe that because I'm copying this uh, gray into mask, mask is greater than the gray. So I essentially also need to do one thing here is mask dot ROI the size should be same same bb box b box and then I also need to remove it from this mask so what I can do is mask dot ROI is equal to rectangle dot empty so let us run it again and see file open and we have again the same object and then we are going to field object detection now you can see that the field objects are here but the empty objects have been removed as you can see that empty object so essentially what we did is we find the bounding box and we find the percentage of white pixels to the area so uh, and then we applied this threshold and then we created this mask of the empty objects that is these objects and then we set their values equal to white background and uh, using this line so that in the resulting image those are set to basically white so this is how can you actually 
remove the uh, identify which are the field objects and which are the empty objects in this case i just remove those empty objects and identify i hope this video will help you to understand more about emgu cv and hope to see you in another video